Hi, you're ready to do your last assignment for us for Sign Language 101. Uh, you're going to be signing about uh, your best friend and why that person is your best friend. And you're going to be signing about a hobby that you have or something that you just really enjoy, really interested in doing. Um, each one of these monologues is worth 25 points. And you do need to gloss out your monologue and submit the glossing along with the link. Um, my preference is that you put both videos in one link, but if you need to put them in two separate links, that's fine. Um, make sure that the glossing is there. I don't need any type of English translation too, just the glossing. As you're doing this, we want to focus on um, all the grammar structures you've learned so far. So definitely the first few pages of your, your grammar notes from lesson one. Focus on those. Um, write out uh, the number of sentences you need. Um, eight to ten sentences, write down your, your uh, who your best friend is. It, you know, if you're, come, if you're having a hard time thinking about enough stuff to say, you know, think about when you met this person, where you met this person, um, how, how old you were, um, the types of things you guys do together, why you like this person, um, why they're important to you. Um, we're not asking you, I mean, this is, this is semester one, so we're not asking you to come up with great detailed vocabulary. You should be able to use a lot of the vocabulary you've learned throughout this semester in this presentation. Um, you just need to go through your, your master list and, and use that vocabulary. You know, your story doesn't have to be true. Sometimes it's easier to make things up to fit the vocabulary that you know instead of having to look up a lot of new stuff that you haven't been taught. However, you can use ASL Pro to look up some new vocabulary if you really want to do that. But remember, you can make this up. This, this best friend can be fictitious and it can fit the vocabulary that you've learned and that you know. Um, the hobby, the same thing. Pick something you're really interested in doing, and at first write it out in English, sentence by sentence. Make sure you have it long enough, you follow the length requirement, and then start looking. How do I turn this into a topic comment sentence? How do I set up the topic first? What's it about? And then the comment on it. Is there a time in this sentence? If I'm saying that um, I, I love to, to horseback ride, and I learned how to horseback ride when I was five. When I was five is a tense. It's a time. So you would start with that. So look at each individual sentence that you've written out and decide if there's a time first. If there's a time, set that up first. Then on the rest of the sentence, what's it about? That would be next. And then my comment on it would be last. Remember if I've said anything negative to shake my head and to put the negative marker. Um, if I need to use a rhetorical, like if I say, you know, I like my best friend because she's so nice. That because needs that rhetorical, that why. Um, best friend, I like why she's so nice. So remember those rhetoricals. Um, you need to look on your face like you're interested in what you're saying. So make sure again, once you, once you feel like you have it, once you've written it all out, you're happy with the way it looks. You've glossed it all out. You believe you've followed topic comment and you have those labeled and marked. You believe you have any negatives marked. You believe you have any um, uh, rhetorical questions marked. If there's any time frames, you have those first. When you feel you have that all set up, that's when it's time to tape that up to a mirror and watch yourself sign through it again and again and again. And then you can tape that right next to your camera so your eye contact with me is excellent and you still have a, a reminder. It's not like you have to memorize the entire thing. But that way your eye contact and your fluency is, is really good. And as you're signing in the mirror, you need to make sure you're doing things with your face. You know, you're, you're tilting your head, you're pursing your lips, you're shrugging your shoulders. All of those things add tone of voice to what you're doing, and they're a very important part of ASL. Okay. So once you've got that and you're ready to record, get those recorded and, and uh, put on the scoring tool. And please remember the glossing needs to be in there too. You've got to add the glossing. That's part of the grade. Okay. Um, beyond that, before you register and move into 102, a couple of reminders. You are going to do a lot more glossing in 102. We introduced you to it through the assignments and, and gave you some opportunities to do it in this class. And then next class you do more and in 201 and 202 you do even more. So please, those vocabulary um, grammar rules that I asked you to print out in lesson one, 
please make sure you've printed a copy of those out because those will be very valuable for you to use in 102 and 201 and 202. They'll help out a ton. Um, review your vocabulary. All of that that you learned this, this class, you're expected to know all the way through 202. There might come a time where you're watching a video where information is signed to you and you have to answer questions about it and vocabulary has been pulled from this quarter. Um, it's it's all building. It's not like it's something you can learn for one chapter or one lesson and then forget about and, and let go of. You've got to maintain it. You've got to keep practicing it. Um, if you have anyone you know who's taking a class like this and you could practice with, that's real, really important. There's tons of things on YouTube you can watch to just get some ideas and get some help and get some practice. Um, so please make sure you're reviewing those grammar rules before you go on into 102 because you will be expected to know those um, from this, this level and then as you add more and more to that in the next level. Good luck and I hope to see you in later classes. Thank you very much.